What's up, everyone? You know what time it is. Mighty Fan here again, back from the Mighty Kingdom. And I want to, again, have a huge shout out to my buddy, Big Slim, for my last video, which was the uh, rivalry sportswear, Kobe Bryant, Laura Marion, home and away set uh, um, uh, review, basically. And um, outside of Bryant Gymnasium, Laura Marion High School, it was awesome to do it there. It's something that I wanted to do since I got those jerseys in for Mac. Shout out again to Mac. I'm always doing wonderful things at Rivalry. And um, I was glad to do it. And I'm happy, you know, uh, that Slim was was able to help me with that. Good to go there with a buddy of mine and do it. I know he did a video. I helped him for his video, which he will be loading to his channel in the, in the near future, I would imagine. So make sure you check him out in his channel and, and, and see that video when he drops it. All of his videos when he drops them. Um, Slim Pickens. Right? Uh, so shout out again to you, Slim. See, your buddy's here. Best of them. And I, gonna... <laughs> I can only imagine the look Slim's giving right now. To... <laughs> I hate that fox. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, but no. Um, I, and as I said at the end of that video, towards the end of that video, and I, I, I wanted to open with that here, as I do thank you all. Uh, I, I'm not a huge numbers guy, you know, I'm never going to be a YouTube partner, you know, with this, you're not going to have ads <laughs> unless YouTube forces them in front of my videos. I hate those ads. I, uh, the, the ones I think I hate the most are like the 15 second ones where you can't skip. <sighs> I get it. That's how YouTube makes money. It, it, it makes sense. I, I understand it, but boy, they, they get annoying, man. They really do. Um, but but I'm never going to be a partner or anything like that. I, you know, it, it's nothing against people who do. I know it's a big thing. A lot of people do it. But for me, it's never been about the numbers. I've never been a numbers guy. I've been doing these videos on YouTube since 2009. And a big shout out again to my buddy Rez, Resurrection. Uh, I'll, I'll drop a link to that, uh, that, that video in the description for this one. Uh, not long ago, he, did, he interviewed me for his channel. And, you know, it was kind of like, you know, about collecting and about YouTube, you know, what, you know, um, uh, uh, being a content creator on YouTube. And, you know, as I said in that interview, and I'll say it here, is that, um, you know, I've, I've done these videos since 2009. And from 2009 to 2021, a lot's changed, right? I've added a few pounds. <laughs> since 2000. I, I gotta, I, I will work on trying to lose that COVID weight, but, um, a lot's changed, right? So I've changed physically, obviously. Um, I, I have my own house. Uh, the, the camera certainly has changed since 2009. You don't hear the in the back anymore, but my videos for the most part have always been very bare boned. It's been me here. I am showing jerseys and hats. You know, it's always been or season of the fan breaking down Eagles games and the festive of course is more prominent. And, and by the way, for those of you out there who, who Festive has been crunch, crunching the numbers. Festive is becoming very, you know, wants to make sure that is on top of the game for the NFL. Festive has become quite the expert of all the teams around the league. Okay, so when, when the season of the fan series resumes this fall, and if you haven't already seen it, make sure you do. It's a great series. I have a lot of fun with it for my beloved Philadelphia Eagles, who, of course, are all right, they're probably in a rebuild right now. I love the pickup of Devontae Smith. I love that. The Slim Reaper, great first-round pick, um, although Mike Golick um, called him Devontae Adams for some reason, but uh, <laughs> announcing the second-round pick, Dickerson right to center out Alabama. Good to Howie and the Eagles to go Bama, right? Power conference, power school, that's good. Um, I like the pick. I love the nickname. Uh, hopefully he produces... Uh, I believe he will, but we'll see. Time will tell. But, um, <laughs> but of course, the season of the fan series is for my Eagles. Festive is a part of it for the weekly Festive 4, right? I'm not a sports better, right? I, I, I've always told people I do my betting on eBay, okay? But I'm not a sports better. But for those of you who do, Festive will give you a four-pack of winners every week. So be sure you, you, know, you can win some shekels. All I'm saying, Festive has a very good record. So far, and no, let's keep, keep going. So, because the, now there's an extra game in the season now, right? So, Festive's doing extra work. Don't let that face fool you. Festive knows <laughs> about the NFL. Foxes are very... Festive's not happy with the Flyers right now. But, but the uh, the NFL going to be down pat. You don't want to miss the weekly... 
weekly series, their series season of the fan and the festive four before every Eagles game, the four pack of winners. Festive gets it done. Slim knows. <laughs> Those two have a rivalry, you don't know. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, as I was saying before, I usually do get off topic, right? I thank you all. Uh, 1K subs uh, happened recently for me here on the channel. And from 09 to, to 2021, like I said, I've been doing these videos and I'll be doing them into the future. Um, and I always said this, I'm not, I never feel like, I, look, I'm not the star. The star for me is the jerseys and the hats that I share, right? That's the star for me for my videos. And I, I've been, look, when I go out and about sometimes, you know, when I'm at a local mall or go to the Mitchell and Ness store, sometimes, so, hey, you're a Mighty fan, right? You're, I love your content, great videos, the pickups, everything, you know, combo wombo, you know, whatever. And it, 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 it's always a humbling thing to hear. And I, I'm, I'm glad that my content means a lot to so many people. I get notes from people around the world. And it's always a humbling thing. Um, you know, because, you know, you don't realize what you're doing, right? You're, you're putting these videos out. And because you have the passion for, you know, what you do. And it means a lot to other people. So it, it's always a humbling thing. And I thank you all for that. And I thank you all for the 1K subs. I really do. Um, like I said, and I've, I said it a few times already, but I'm not a big numbers guy, even though I'm a big sports fan. But the 1K, that's a big number. And, um, you know, it shows that a lot of people enjoy the content. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It shows that I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> uh, and and, and it, it shows that, hey, you know what? I'm doing something right. And um, like I said, I, I thank you all for that. I'm very humbled by it. And um, we're going to keep pushing forward here. You know, this is what we do. Uh, like I said, I, it, 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 there's been a lot of changes, right, since since 2009. But the one constant has always been it's a bare bone content, not a lot of frills and, and thrills on these videos, not a lot of editing or, you know, sound effects or whatever that comes up in here and there. Here's some vids. Here's a picture in picture or whatever. Uh, but <clears throat> maybe sometimes there might. But for the most part, it's just me. Here I am. I'm showing you jerseys. I'm showing you hats. You might see festive every now and then. <laughs> I'm complaining about the Eagles, <laughs> right, during games. Although I will say this, and look, I think YouTube has been an amazing thing. I'm glad to have been a part of it. And when I joined in, in, in 09, you saw my old box computer in the back, <laughs> the old room there, uh, the old office room at that time, at the old house. Uh, the memories, though, you know, and, and, and to think, right, when you talk about my Eagles, right, my greatest moment of being a Philadelphia sports fan was captured on YouTube. The Eagles winning Super Bowl 52. I mean, you know, these are the type of memories and these are the type of things that you just, you know, if it wasn't for for outlet like YouTube, I might not have had. So I'm very thankful. Above all else, you know, the 1K is great, but I'm thankful for YouTube, you know, for allowing me to have a platform to put my content on, to share to whoever wants to watch it around the world. It's a great thing. And I, I thank you all for that. I thank all my good friends in the Jersey Heads community. I thank my good friends that I have. They aren't just Jersey Heads, but good friends overall that have been with me for a number of years and have gotten to know through the Jersey Heads community. And also guys like Mark M, too, uh, that got to know who live in the area. Um, I thank you all for the support. I thank you all for being a good friend to me. And, uh, you know, it all, the, your friendship is always the most important thing. It always means something to me. So I thank you all for that. I thank the views from the Vault guys, you know, for allowing me to part of their, to be a part of their content and their channel, and the support that they've shown me for my my wacky combo wombo ness, right? Uh, you know, and, and I thank all of you for you know letting letting me be a part of your life in some way for these videos, and uh, it's a very humbling thing. And like I said, I'm going to continue to do this as my voice is cracking. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> this is actually take two of this. Uh, like I said, hey, it's sometimes, right, for no frills and thrills, right, just bare bone. But um, I thank you all, and I think that's the big, the big uh, slogan uh, saying for this video is thank you um, for all of the support over the many years that I've been doing this, and I'll continue to do this for many years going forward, right? <laughs> because the life of a collector never stops. It's a fascinating look at the human mind when you talk about collecting. Because there's so many inside struggles that you have to go through. 
The other thing I want to say is, you know, you always see the finished product here, right? The pickup videos, that means there's pickups, right? That means there's things to show. But you don't see the things that you miss out on. And I know in the Jersey Heads community, I've kind of talked to the fellas, right? I've been like, you know, we should do something. Like some sort of like, like a reality program <laughs> for collecting. Because you're able to see, we always show, here, here's what I got. Here's what I was able to add. You know, you look behind me, you see all the things I've been able to add right over the years and, and, and to the collection, but you don't see the things you don't get, right? So there's that kind of yin and yang to it, right? There's, right, look what I got, but you're not seeing what you didn't. And there's always these kind of, you know, you're, you're, you're fighting with those, you know, the old angel and demon on the shoulders, right? Oh, you got this bill coming up. You better be careful. Nah, the hell with the bill. Get it, get it, get it. You know, <laughs> it's like, so there's always this like infighting that happens and I always kind of thought it'd be cool to do a video, do a series and just kind of go through real life of a collector. This is what we go through. It really is. For those of you who aren't collectors, you're never going to understand it. And that's totally, look, this isn't for everybody. I will always say that this, what I do, what collectors do, not everyone can handle this because <laughs> there's a lot of decision making. There's a lot of things that you got to kind of do, right? And it doesn't matter if you collect, like I do, jerseys and hats. You collect sneakers. You collect uh, um, sports paraphernalia. You collect comic books, toys, cars, <laughs> <coughs> you know, movie paraphernalia, whatever people collect, right? There's it, it, If you don't do that, like my dad collects stamps. But if you don't do that, you don't really understand that life. You don't understand, okay, this is, this is how hard it could be. So I think it would be cool to kind of do something. And it's not something I'm going to do right now. It's something I'm, you know, a little idea I'm floating in there in cyber, you know, in the, uh, in the cloud. <laughs> That's filed away for a later time. But uh, it is one of those kind of interesting little things. I, I think it's a fascinating thing about the, the, the mind of a collector, the life of a collector, how it's done, how it's, how it's accumulated, the, the trials and tribulations you have to go through at times. Sometimes the companies don't make it easy. The manufacturers don't make it easy for you to get things at times. Sometimes it's just because it's a rare item and, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. You kind of got to jump through hoops at times to be able to, to, to be able to add things to the collection. And then life happens, right? So I think it would be kind of a cool series to do. And I don't know if I'm going to do it right away or if I do it down the road or if other Jersey heads join in with me. But I would like to do that at some point. I would like to get that done, the life of a collector, just to kind of, you know, take you into the journey a little more. You know, once I hit that 1K uh, uh, milestone, you know, I started thinking, you know, what other things could I bring to the channel? What other content could I bring to the channel? And that's one of the ideas that I have. So let me know in the comments below what you think of that. Would you like to see that? I, I know for some people it might be very boring. They might not. <laughs> but if you're bored by it, just don't watch. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> but, um... But I would never say don't watch my channel or any anyone else's channel. But, um, you know, thoughts below. Uh, you know, let me know. Um, so anyhow, we're going to move forward from that aspect to the video to the next, which is the pickups aspect. I know a lot of people have been looking looking for, oh, the pickups. Are you going to get the pickups? Well, listen, to get to the pickups, you had to get through my spiel there. Thanking you all again for the 1K subs. I thank you all so much for the support. And keep supporting this channel. Keep hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Hit the bell icon so you get notified for upcoming content. You never want to miss it, right? And make sure you always leave those thumbs up. We want more thumbs up. It shows support. And, and that's always a good thing, right? So Festive, Festive wants a paw up. So make sure you put your paw up too if you're someone with, you know, a, 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 a woodland creature without thumbs. But... Uh, <laughs> Festive, you get, you get the festive gets the foxes to give the the, the paws up. So, anyhow, uh, we're gonna move on to the to the pickups now. And um, goodness, you know, I usually go jerseys first and then hats. I'm gonna go hats first this time. I'm gonna go hats first. I have quite a lot of hats here that I've accumulated here over the past how many weeks. First and foremost, I want to give a big shout to to a to a member of our. Uh, uh, Jersey and also FHS community and a good buddy of mine from from <clears throat> from the West Coast, Dan, the man, he gifted me this hat, and I just came in the mail uh, uh, the on on Friday. Here it is, Oakland A's. This was a Hat Club exclusive, good gray bottom, the UV, and then you got the white guts on the inside. That kind of '90s logo right there, their alternate logo at the time, and you have a 30th anniversary season right there. 
on the side. So Dan remembered <laughs> that I wanted a hat to go with a certain jersey. So he was he was uh, you know good enough to, to gift me this. He found it and uh, sent it my way in my size. And here's the jersey. <clears throat> so you got that vintage Rawlings Mark McGuire. And there's the patch. And I've always said combo wombo, right? You got to pair them up. There's the patch. There's the patch. A's hat, A's jersey. And there it is right there. There's the combo wombo for this hat. Now, actually, this hat actually has two combo wombos for it. Two jerseys that go with it. Because keep in mind that logo on the front, right? right? Like I said, it was their secondary logo for a time. Here's the Ricky Henderson BP. And there you go. <laughs> so we're going to combo wombo it up with that Ricky Henderson Mitchell and SBP as well. Because he's got the logo on the front that goes with the sleeve. So in this case, the front logo goes with the sleeve logo. And then you got the side patch logo going with the sleeve patch logo for the uh, McGuire. Right? So very cool. Thank you again, Dan. And shout huge shout out to you. Look forward to seeing you again in the future. And we, we met up with him last year. I know Big Slim and I did. He's a good guy. So thank you very much, Dan. Um, in the collection there. And <clears throat> next off we have... Uh, we have, this is the new Mother's Day hat for this year for the MLB. Uh, pink logo in the front for the Phillies, of course. And you got the uh, the, the uh, breast cancer awareness ribbon on the side with the Phillies on the back. So this is more of a flex fit hat. Now, <clears throat> I've always said this about hats. You know, I love hats. And obviously the fitted hats, big, big part of the fitted hat society there, FHS. Um, <clears throat> and <clears throat> for these, though, when, when I have the option whether I want to get the on-field fitted or the the, the, the low profile or the stretch or the uh, more of the flex fit kind of floppy woppy hat, right? I'll usually try to get this one because it's it's always about personal preference and I, I don't mind the on-field fitteds and whatnot, right? The 5950s. But for this is the 3930. And for this one, it's always just most comfortable on my head. I mean, these always just fit nice for me. Um, you know, sometimes with those fitteds, the on-field fitteds, they can be a little tricky because I can either wear seven three eighths or seven and a half, but even with them, it just depends on where they're made. Sometimes they just fit a different kind of way. Now, if I can go to a place and try them on, it's okay. And I get a lot of them online too. So I, you know, I can't say I don't cause I do sometimes look, the only place you can get them is online. Right. But if I had an option in store or even in some cases online to get this version of it, I'll get this one just because it's the same hat. It's the same everything on the hat. Besides the back, there's no Batterman. But um, but it does have, uh, you know, that that nice feel to it. It's just comfortable. These, these, these 3930s are always just most comfortable in my head. So I have a decent collection of these as well to go with the on-field fitteds, some of the low profiles I have or what have you. But these, I like these. These are just comfortable for me. They're a nice lighter weight hat for like the spring and summer months. Uh, and, and I like the little extra on the back. Usually it's like the team name. So, yeah, it's a little different than your, your basic on-field fitted. But, um, you know, the, these got the job done for me. I like these, so I have quite a few of them. It's just it's all about personal preference. People collect the way they want. People wear hats the way they want. I have more than enough on-field fits in my collection. I have a few here, too, that are in that style. But for this one, I had the opportunity at it in a, in a more kind of 39, 30 flex fit if you will and it's just comfortable for me so i got it uh but this was at the uh at the ballpark i got this at the phillies game a couple weeks ago at the uh at the ballpark store there the new era um store <clears throat> uh so this next one this was a i know this is a hat that's made the rounds i mean you've seen this around various different places i think hat club was one of the first to do this uh some time ago and then others kind of latched onto it because it was a very popular hat but you got the basically the the history of the logo so this is the phillies one and i got this at pro, uh, local pro image some weeks ago so you got the uh the logo there you got the various dates below it it's basically the logo that was on the hat you know they kind of did the history there and they did it for a lot uh, a good amount a good amount of the teams in the mlb and of course i had to get the phillies one but there were others I liked, too, that I didn't get. The Blue Jays came to mind. They had a nice-looking one. Uh, I liked the Diamondbacks, too, the Angels, but I went with the Phillies. <clears throat> and 
And this was another this one this one was a Pro Image exclusive. So this was last week I grabbed this one. Uh basically so Hat Club came out with the Cotton Candy uh um uh, uh, collection uh, a bit back, right? So this is kind of like Pro Images version of a cotton candy, if you will. I love the way this was executed. I, this is my all-time favorite Phillies logo. So to have that big and bold on the front was great. <clears throat> it's got the pink on there. You got the light blue as well for the for the whole hat for the crown and for the brim. It's a pink under too with the white guts. <clears throat> and then you got the uh, final season of Veterans Stadium patch on the side. And I do have a Jimmy Rollins uh, jersey with that patch on there. So, Batterman on the back in, in, in blue and pink. And then the New Era, <clears throat> New Era flag is in pink. And I like the little, uh, you know, the accents here. Little pink accents there for the Philadelphia, for the, for the ball, basically, for the seams. And then, of course, for the, for the trees in the background for the uh, Independence Hall. Very detailed logo. It's one of the things I've always liked about that logo. And just have it with that pink on there just really works, at least for me. And these are hats that you're either going to love them or hate them. I, I like this one. I didn't get any of the cotton candies when they came out from Hat Club. But I just this just spoke to me, so I had to have it. Uh, this came out last week, so I don't know if they're available anymore. But um, I grabbed it last week. I know we're coming up on Cinco de Mayo, so happy Cinco de Mayo out there. So we have the... Copa Divisions, usually when these Copa hats start coming out. Now, these are actually from a year ago, and they brought them back, obviously, because there was no season in minor leagues last year. So this is the uh, Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs version. The Cokies, I like the, uh, the little frog there on the front. Flag there on the, on the side. You got the Batterman logo, too, on the back. It's a two-tone. I love two tones. You got the red crown with the blue, the navy blue uh, brim. And the uh, eyelids and squatchy is also navy blue. It's a uh, <coughs> black under, black nasty, basically. The fellas call it in the group, but there's the inside. So this is like an on-field fitted for the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, which is the, uh, the, the AAA affiliate to the Phillies. Look forward to going to another Iron Pigs game this year with my good buddy Mark M. And Captain's going to be with us, and among others, so look forward to that later in the season. That's right, my, my, my buddy, the captain, Jason, Dirty 30 thing, uh, fame, WIP fame. <laughs> Yo, Ranch! <laughs> Shout out to Jason. Um, and uh, this one here, this is a double-A affiliate to the Phillies. The Reading Fightin' Phils used to be the Reading Phillies. This is their Copa uh, hat for this season. The uh, Luchador de Reading. And it's got basically the luchador mask on the front for the logo. I really like this logo. It's got the pagoda building, as you can see within the logo, which is one of the uh, lamp, the uh, iconic landmark buildings in Reading. I've been to that building. Very nice. So you can kind of see it there. You can kind of see here, I should say, right there. Now they actually used to have the pagoda building on the patch on the, as a patch on the sleeve years ago uh, for the for the yard fills, but not anymore. But Batterman on the back, near air on field fitted, ah, uh, black nasty of course on the inside. Now this was a uh, this was a um, fanatics pickup. The uh, the uh, the uh, Cokies hat was a was I got a pro image, but you can find those online. But this was a fanatics one, and I like it. it's got the uh, it's got just a white. Bright white panel for the front panel, rather the two tone. Well, actually three tone because you got the, the the black for the rest of the hat, the white front panel, and then the red brim. Very nice hat right there. Ah, uh, so these were lids exclusives. I don't have the jerseys up here with me. They're they're downstairs, but I do have jerseys for this one. Cardinals. This was a stadium side patch. So you got the old uh, Bush Bush Stadium right there at the, uh, the final yeah the final season. Now I got that patch on the side of the Jim Edmonds and the Albert Pujols jersey, home jerseys for the Cardinals. So this hat will go with those. I think I do have a hat too, like a white hat 
with a red brim, if I'm not mistaken, with that logo on the side. But I don't think it's a fitted. I think that was more of like a strap bag or something. Because that was a Lids exclusive like many years ago that I picked up. It's got the good gray under under brim, black, black guts, white New Era flag, and you got the batterman on the back. And I know, look, <laughs> Uh, you know, in the FHS community, you're going you're gonna to love or hate the, the woven patches. But Lids does woven patches for the most part. And side patches, I should say. It's, it's just one of those things. For me, it doesn't matter as much because I'm pairing these hats up with jerseys. So if it's a stitch patch, like example would be the, um, example would be like the Phillies. I'm trying to see if I had another hat closer, but. So... <clears throat> So, see, notice the side patch here is stitched. So, Lids does a lot of their side patches with that woven look, right? And a lot of people prefer the stitch patching to the woven patching. And some people prefer the woven patching to the stitch patching because the details on the logo are a little more clear and crisp on a woven patch than it is on a stitch patch. But, obviously, there's more, you know, to, to the patch. I mean, it's detailed, you know, obviously done stitched rather than woven. But for me, do I have a preference? I really don't. I, I like the stitch patching, but I, I, can all, I also like the woven patching just because, for me, if it goes with a jersey, I'm happy. So I'm not collecting just the hat, just for the hat. You know, I'm collecting it for the other reason, for, as you all know, for the combo wombo reason, right? So for the most part, I do have hats that I don't collect for combo wombos, but a, lot, a good collection of them. <laughs> are for combo wombos, right? So if it's got the patch stitched or woven on the side that goes with a patch on the sleeve of a jersey, I want to get the hat. Yeah, it's just how it is. So for me, I can live with it. I can deal with it being woven. I'm not hating on anyone in the FHS community who feels otherwise, but that's just my reasoning for it. So I was happy to get it. And then I also got this one, and these actually moved pretty quick. So I was glad to get them when I did. I kind of knew, because these two that I knew I wanted out of the whole set. These were two of the main ones I wanted, and I saw, like, the availability left, and it wasn't very much. So, man, I better get these. So I got the Cardinals, and I got the Astros. There's the uh, Astro, the original. And I have back in there, I'm not going to grab them right now, but I have a, Je a, a vintage Jeff Bagwell Astros, and I got the Mitchell Ness Craig Biggio that has that patch on the sleeve. So that hat goes with, with those two jerseys at least to date there might be more in the future who knows but because you see this patch on a lot of those astro on the side of a lot of those astros jerseys from that time period ah okay pistol and uh all the dodger fans out there there you go there's your dodger champions hat the gold trim on field fitted champions patch on the side uh, and this one would be more like a rubber, uh, rubber patch patch. <laughs> so it's not woven and it's not stitched, but that's what a lot of these, a lot of they'll do for baseball anymore is that one right there. It's like pressed onto the side. The, um, excuse me, the Batterman logo on the back, gold trim, gold swat, squatchy on the top, gold trim around the L.A., Black Nasty. Of course, this is an on-field fit, fit, fit at 5950. But <clears throat> I picked this up at Pro Image. Big, Big Slim was there with me at the time. And I just, it was one of those things I was just fighting the demons. Like, I want this. Should I, shouldn't I? But it was the only one they had in my size. So one, one of the things, you talk about collections within a collection. So one of the things that I want to do, because I want baseball jerseys. I have a lot of jerseys for a lot of different sports, right? But baseball, will I think, will always be my favorite. Because there's just always so much on the jerseys patches the patch game is always strong just so much going on right so one of the things i thought i would do collection within the collection so every year whoever wins the world series i want to get their jersey with the champions patch on there it doesn't have to be the gold trim jersey the gold trim jersey comes out early the, the following season right they wear it for the basically ring day or whatever the, the phillies i have the phillies one obviously from the 08 world series i have an albert pulhos one too and that was just one of those pickups that it was in the store. It was on sale. It looked nice. This is many years ago, and I grabbed it. So I got two gold trim jerseys <laughs> in my collection. I do want to get a Cubs one. I do want to get a Cubs one. 
But other than that, and other than the, Phil than the Phillies winning again, I don't think I'm going to get too many of those gold trim jerseys. They're awesome. They really look good. Man, they're hard to get. They fly. They're, they're gone in like seconds. They're just one of those that I don't want to sound like a defeatist. <laughs> but if I have this goal of collecting these things, I want to be able to get them. Because if I miss a year, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> and I would imagine that those jerseys are hard to custom, right? I would just imagine about that. So I don't know if it will be the gold trim. More than likely it won't, right? The hat, though, I think I want to get the gold trim hat. Just because it does signify champions, it's just one of those things. So I want to get the gold trim hat, and I want to, want to get the World Series hat from that season, right? From that team winning. So whoever won it. So starting last season, so the Dodgers won it. So I want to get a Dodgers jersey with the Dodgers champions patch on there. So I wanted to get this hat to go with it, right? Combo Wombo, right? And I also want to get a World Series hat for the Dodgers, too. That's next on my on my list, right? So I'll have two hats because I'm I'm a I'm a hat jersey guy, right? The combo wombo guy, right? So I want to get two hats and the jersey every year for whoever wins the World Series. So this year, whoever wins it, I'll get their jersey with the champions patch on. And it will always be the authentic jersey, too. The and I know those prices can get crazy, but your boy's willing to do it, all right? Because I love baseball jerseys that much. So I want the authentic on-field jersey with the champions patch on there. And then two hats, the gold trim hat that comes out the next year for whoever wins it, and also a World Series side patch hat for the team that won it that season. So we're going to start with the Dodgers last season. Uh, so I will be getting the Dodgers champion patch jersey, probably Mookie Betts. I always kind of want to get a player that's like pretty prevalent too. So that's why I'm, all right, I'm going to go Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. So if the Dodgers win it again this year, right, I probably won't get the same player, so I'll probably go like Bellinger or someone else, right? So whoever wins it, I want to get. And I thought about saying, okay, whoever the World Series MVP is, I want. But then I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go with. It, it could be the player who's the MVP, but more than likely, it's just going to be a prevalent member of that team, their jersey, side patch on there, sleeve patch rather, gold trim hat, regular World Series hat, and we're going to do it. <laughs> so from the COVID year on. <laughs> Right, 2020, how many years? Eventually, maybe I, it, they go on their own rack or whatever. I just think it would be cool. I just think, like, years from now, having that, it, it would be kind of unique. And it's just going to be cool to see, like, all the different champions jerseys and hats. And, you know, like, 10 years, 15 years down the road from now, as long as I'm still, you know, kicking. Uh, it would be kind of cool to see that. And, and and like I said, I like to challenge myself, little collections within the collection, and the baseball, the MLB Champions Collection. That's what I'm going to call it. Starting in 2020, I know the bubble year, <laughs> but the Dodgers, whoever else wins it every year, and we're just going to move. And I got to move on some of those jerseys quick. I know, I'm going to have to pull that trigger pretty quick, and the hats too, because these hats go quick too, particularly the gold trim ones. So... But, but that's the challenge, the collection within the collection for hats, but also for the jerseys, right? Combo Wombos. The Jersey Combo Wombo Champions Collection. <laughs> so there you go. So Pistol and you Dodger fans out there, right? James King, all you guys. There you go. Starting with your Dodgers. You should be very proud about that. It's a proud moment. <laughs> so anyhow, we're going to continue on. So we got the Orioles. This is a Mitchell Ness fitted. I know I've shown some of these hats in my last Views from the Vault uh, video, but I'm showing them here too. Good gray on the bottom, white gus. This is an old school hat they made many years ago. Gotta move these up. Uh, all right, so this was a more recent pickup. Now this one is to go with other jerseys. You got the, uh, yeah, I know. So we got the Mets. <laughs> Uh, basically their batting practice hat, but it goes well with like a lot of the Mets jerseys I have, particularly the road ones for some reason. This one just goes really well, and this does set up a jersey here coming up. I know, but we're going to get through it. <laughs> um, I forget what they called this. I, I apologize about that. I forget what set this was, what collection this was from Hat Club, but I liked this one out of that whole set got the old florida marlins right there the logo inaugural season 93 i have two gary sheffield uh home and away jerseys that this hat would go well with it's got that teal uv white guts 
This is a Hat Club exclusive. And I forget the name of this set. This came out weeks weeks ago. It's the only hat I wanted from that set. And you really have to move quick when these sites drop this stuff because you're going to miss it otherwise. But there it is. I just like the color. I like the way they did the color, you know, for this, uh, for the logo and everything, the color concepts. Pretty cool. Pretty spot on, I, I thought, for the Marlins. All right, let's get out of the NL East teams. <laughs> Right? Detroit Tigers, the walking tiger. Oh, I love that logo. Oh, God, it's one of my favorite logos in baseball, right? Love it. Love the fact it's made a big comeback here. This was an exclusive fitteds hat that they, uh, exclusive fitteds exclusive that they came out with some weeks ago. It's got the black military, uh, you know, camo design going on there. And you got the walking tiger right there. You got the, uh, the all-star game. Now, this one goes with, uh, this one goes with my, Pudge Rodriguez, Vintage Authentic. Why? Because there's the logo. There it is, Combo Wombo time. There's been so many Tiger hats with this logo on it that I just couldn't get my hands on. So I was glad, and I'm glad it was this one because I love the logo. The Walking Tiger's always been one of my favorites. And then it's got the patch. It's an orange UV also with the white guts. There's the Batterman. All over this thing, it's got that camo action, but it's... It's pretty good. I, I'm not always the biggest fan of camo designs, but this one I think works pretty well with it. But in my opinion, anyhow. And then sticking to the Tigers, got the batting practice, which love them or hate them. This was probably one of my favorites because I love the tiger stripes on the inside of the D, the old English D. And it's got the walking tiger on the side. So I'm glad they kind of made a little, the, the Tigers made this a comeback, not just fashion wise, right? The Tigers try, I would love to see the Tigers do a alternate Jersey with that on the front. Like they had very briefly in 94 and I, I have some batting practice. I have the uh, Kirk Gibson batting practice for it. Oh, the big logo. And believe me, if they ever did it, I, I would be on a Miggy. I, I would get myself a Miguel Cabrera. If they put that on the Jersey, Miguel Cabrera would be the guy. Ironically enough, he was a Marlin to start his career. I remember him as a Marlin. I remember him hitting many a home run against the Phillies as a Marlin. <laughs> the baby-faced assassin, that's what we used to call him here. Man, he's had some career, hadn't he? He had a home run in the snow at the beginning of the season. The man is still getting it done. Shout out to Miggy, man. Uh, I still need to get one of his jerseys. Um, but anyhow, that is, is that it? I think I have one more hat. At least I thought I did. It's not here, but I believe it's over here. I don't think I actually showed this before. Oh, actually, I have two of them. I'm sorry. I'm with it today. I have two of them. This was a capologist hat. Shout out to Leon. For those who know who know, this is an exclusive done by them, Atlanta Braves. Uh, yeah, I know, another NL East foe. There it is. But the old school Braves with that 715 on the side. Woo! And I know that... Uh, Lids just did one white. The whole white crown with the blue brim with that logo. Capologist did it first. There it is. The old school A's hat or Braves hat. The, the lowercase a Braves hat with that on the side. Whew, my goodness. And of course that goes with my Hank Aaron. 1974 jersey. The home jersey. And then this one I think in my last YouTube video prior to the Laura Marion one where I said I'm, I'm waiting for this hat in the mail. So this is the one. The Brewers. Again, this is a side patch. Uh, collection from lids so it's a woven patch but it's got the 82 and it goes with my prince fielder as i said in that video i have one coming for it another one coming for it another one so here it is right there side patch side pa the patch patch game right there combo wombo boom it's always got to work buddy oh my god that that was a lot of hats I forgot how many I accumulated since the last video I did where I showed hats. And we're pushing close to 40 minutes. I hope you're all enjoying your time here, as always with me. Let's get to the jerseys, okay? That, that is it for the hats, I promise. There was a lot to show. There was more to show. I almost forgot to show two of them. Is there any more back there? Okay, let's keep moving. So anyhow, <laughs> the first... Uh, in the in the in the jersey pickups, right? I want to give a, another big shout out to my buddy Big Slim. He helped me get these. Um, Hibbets, as some of you might know, has been doing a, a a deal on Kobe Mitchell and S jerseys, authentic jerseys. 
Uh, I think even recently they did something like a 50% off deal or something like that that some people took advantage of while it was still available. I think they took it off pretty quick. But <laughs> but these were um, part of their deal they were doing some time ago. My buddy Big Slim helped me acquire these. Uh, Kobe, obviously rest in peace to the Mamba. That's his 2001 finals jersey. Yeah, they got my Sixers that year, but you know, great Lakers team, a dynasty, and Kobe, obviously, a big part of that dynasty. So there's the 01 finals, and I have his 2000 finals jersey. So now with this one and the others I show, I have at least one for all the various finals that Mitchell Ness has done for Kobe over the years. There's the jock tag, 2000-2001, beautiful jersey. Really like this, the road purple, which, if you don't know, they won the finals that year in Philly. In five games, Sixers got game one with the step over by Iverson, but then it was all Lakers after that. But um, Lakers right there, shout out the pistol, shout out to all Laker fans out there. Borsch, all you guys holding it down, right, with the purple and gold. Really like this jersey, uh, lightweight material. It's just a, you know, beautiful, beautiful jersey, number eight, of course, when he wore number eight before the 24 came in. Ah, uh, so there is his 01 Finals jersey, and we're going to keep moving on. This was another Hibbets pickup, again, with the assist by Slim. The other Finals, this, of course, another purple, but now with the 24, the uh, 08, 09, when they beat the Magic. See, now I remember who they beat. <laughs> Slim, Slim, <laughs> I was helping him with it, and he said, who did they beat? And I'm like, uh... Oh, uh, uh, I just I, I couldn't remember. I'm trying to. When you get older, it it gets a little tough to remember years. They all just blend in. <laughs> but yes, they beat the Orlando Magic that year in the finals. And there's the Bryant 24 on the back. Trust me, it's there. There it is. Larry O'Brien on the front patch, NBA logo, Lakers 24. You know the deal with the Laker jerseys, right? Oh eight oh 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 eight oh nine season the oh nine finals of course when they beat now Sixer Dwight Howard and the Orlando Magic and of course the pride of St Joseph's University Jameer Nelson that year in that finals right and then now Laker fans are all upset with this one I mean it's not like they have a lot to be upset with with their team they win like all the time but they they were upset that Mitchell and Ness made this one. Because, <laughs> so this is the, this was actually purchased from the Mitchell Ness store. Shout out to the fellas at the Mitchell Ness store, short store in Philly, of course. Shout out to my buddy Big Slim, he helped me with this. But this is the uh, the finals, uh, 9 10 So this is their back-to-back, -back, right? Now, Laker fans are all upset because this was the game they lost, apparently, to the, <laughs> to the Celtics. They won the damn champion. They made the jersey where we lost. Well, you, you have the purple. You have other gold. I mean, they wanted to do something different. Come on. Pistol, stop. You're better than that. <laughs> Anyhow, there's the, <laughs> there, there's the, the finals now. They Apparently, they lost this game when they wore their Sunday white jersey. In the, but I love the, I like they made this because, and I know I'm a Sixer fan, but I like they made this because it's the white jersey. It's something different. You know, with the finals, probably that pops on there. That okay, so that so Ray Allen went off in that game and they lost. Who won? They won. Be happy. <laughs> and yeah, there's the Bryant 24 on the back. They lost the game. Yeah, they won the championship enough. You know, as a Sixer fan, as much as I would love to see my Sixers win one, just give me one for those damn process years. The Lakers. They made a jersey, but they lost the game. They won the championship for God's sakes. God's sakes. Anyhow, they're <laughs> Laker fans. Goodness. God. Oh, let me have that. Let me have that 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 problem of Mitchell and Ness making down the road a Joel and B jersey that they wore when they lost the game, but they won the championship. Give me that problem. I'll happily take that problem. <laughs> Hopefully it's this season. Hopefully. Those damn 2K Nets think they're gonna get in the way. Oh, we got something for you. Our team plays defense. Anyhow, here, here's the, uh, here's the jersey. <laughs> God, please, I just want them to win. Well, we, I've been through so much with this team. I need one. The Eagles, it, it won't top that. But it, 
To be a Sixer fan is to suffer. <laughs> For two, I need one. Come on, guys. Anyhow, uh, there it is. There's the Kobe's. And uh, I know, I go on rants. I always do. Now, being a Sixer fan is tough. Being a Phillies fan, God, they kick in the nuts all the time, right? So here's the... We, like, the Phillies are one of those teams, and I, God knows I lie. I'm a partial season ticket holder, right? I'm a glutton for punishment. But they... That the Phillies is like, here's their history. They have little blips in the history where they actually are good for a prolonged period. And then they just, they're just horrible most of the time. <laughs> I'm hoping for good things. But God knows they test me. But anyhow, here's the, here's the, this was a Fanatics pickup. Right? So this is a Bryce Harper all thing. Now you notice it's a Majestic, right? So this was the last year Majestic did the on-field uh, Authentics, or any baseball jerseys for that matter, right? And it's also Bryce Harper's first year as a Philly because it is, it's a Majestic jersey, but also has the MLB 150. Okay? So there it is, Authentic. So this was a Fanatic. So this thing was, was discounted like crazy. I think I got this thing for under 60 bucks, believe it or not. Authentic jersey. Right, of a player who's still on the team and everything, but um, they were just blowing, blowing these out. So this was the last of the ones I needed for like the authentic Harper. So I, I, don't, I don't have the cream in an authentic. I have a replica of the cream, but maybe I'll get the authentic, so who knows. But I have the road gray. I have the, the, the wonderful powder blue, right, the throwback, and then now I have this one for the authentics for Harper and for the Harper Phillies collection as part of the Harper Phillies collection. So I have other Harper jerseys. I just don't have the Authentics. So I have the Saturday Night Special. I have the, the oh, and I have the red one. I'm sorry. I'm wearing red. I have, I have the batting practice Authentic that they have from from uh, the Majestic days. And I have the I have the replica and the Saturday Night Special and then the cream. The cream was the first one I got when Harper came here. So how many Harper jerseys do you need? <laughs> How many NB jerseys do you need? So here's the, um, speaking of my beloved Sixers, who hopefully will win the title this year, finally. <laughs> it's only been since 1983, Laker fans. But anyhow, here's the here's the Joel Embiid. Uh, this is the earned edition jersey. I know people are tired of all these, oh, how many jerseys do they need to make? As a jersey head, as a collector, I appreciate it. I love the variety. I love that in the NBA they wear a variety of jerseys. And this one I love the most. This is one of my favorite like one year wonder, whatever you want to call these jerseys that the Sixers or the NBA has made for the Sixers. The Liberty Bell on the front, I love that. The 21, of course, for the in Beast right there, Joel Embiid. You got the stars down the side. And for those who wonder why, why are there seven stars? Well, on one side, well, on the shorts, they have six. 76. See? Yeah, you know. So anyhow, the process right there himself, right there, Joel Embiid, probably won't win that MVP. I think it's probably going to go to the Joker, but whatever. He can have the MVP. I want Joel to have the finals MVP, okay? <laughs> so there's Embiid 21 on the back. It's a replica. They don't make these inauthentic. And for, you know, I, I know it's a thing. Honestly, if I like the jersey, if it's authentic or replica, I, it doesn't matter as much to me. But um, I get the frustration. I understand people are like, they want these in authentics. I don't work for Nike <laughs> as much of a jersey head as I am. I don't know why they, they choose to do some jerseys in authentic form and some jerseys they don't. It's just one of those things, man. I mean, Nike's, it is what it is. Why does Nike's cost, why do baseball jerseys cost as much as they do by Nike, right? The price point that they have for the NBA is so great. I would even say the price point for the NFL is pretty good, but the, the MLB ones, you got jerseys over $400. That can't happen. It's like, what are we doing, Nike? Right? So that's my problem with Nike, more baseball-wise than anything else. But I got the frustration. I know we have a lot of great collectors out there like King Leonidas and Hart, you know, Hardwood Threads and all those guys that just go for basketball and certain, you know, various different basketball jerseys. They get a lot of the Nike Authentics and stuff, and they wish more of these designs were done in authentic form. And I totally get that. Maybe someday they will, but obviously that day isn't today. It's just one of those things. What can you do? Just have to grin and bear with it, I guess, right? But for me, if I just want the jersey, I'll take the, the Swingman version of it. Doesn't matter to me. It's, it's less money to spend on it, even though the price point isn't that different. And that, again, that's where they get the thumbs up for me for Nike. But for baseball, 
God, those jerseys are expensive. Oh my God, you see some of the, the Brewers? The Padres? And I want a Padres. I want a Fernando Tatis Jr. jersey. The price on the authentics and oh. Oh, but they're nice. I'll probably pay it someday. But anyhow, the uh <laughs> so so anyhow, we're moving on. So these are uh other recent pickups. This one, beautiful jersey. Got the St. Louis Cardinals right there. This is a Russell Athletic Vintage jersey right there. And you saw his A's jersey earlier, right? So you're going to see his Cardinals jersey. Here he is, Big Mac. Mark McGuire right there, the home jersey. And it's got an extra on there. Oh, yes, it does. The All-Star Game patch from 1998. Look at that, Coors Field. That's the last time the All-Star Game was in Colorado. Of course, it's there this season. And uh, there it is. It was going to be in Atlanta, but Reasons brings it to Colorado. So <laughs> there's the original All-Star Game patch, though, in Colorado. And they wore their regular jersey in that game. I actually I Google searched it, made sure. Because <laughs> sometimes you see, like, the, 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 I guess it would be the batting practice, the home run, whatever jersey from that game. And, yeah, they wore their regular jerseys in that game. But it just had this, the pat, that patch on the sleeve. Beautiful patch. And I know in our FHS community, right, the birds on bat and the mountains are undefeated, right? And hats. So how do you blend them together? Jerseys. <laughs> There's the two logos together. The birds on bat and the mountains. There you go. <laughs> a perfect combination. A double play, if you will. But anyhow, we're moving on. This next one, this was a Macari pickup. I had to think for a minute. A Macari pickup. And this is one that took me a while to get. Others were able to get this sooner than me. But now I have it. Aha! The 1993. Yeah, 1992. <laughs> the, I was off by year. The 1992, the wizard. Ozzy Smith. There's the birds on the bat again. The home Cardinals jersey. Odot Smith on the back. Ah! Love it. Boy, this thing took a while. This is a Mitchell and Ness jersey came out some years ago. But then this thing sold pretty quick. I didn't get it back then. I was reminded about that a few times. Because <laughs> it's one I wanted. It's just one I never got. But then it popped up on Macari and your boy got it. And now I, need a, now I need the hat with that on the side. So the big thing now in the, in the hat game for Cardinals hats is the 125th anniversary patch, right? I need the 100th. I need that patch on the side of a hat. Come on, let's get it done. That's a beautiful, look at that thing. That is a beautiful patch. That needs to be on the side of a hat. And your boy needs to get it because I need to combo wombo it up with this jersey, all right? The 92. So the Cardinals celebrated their 100th, of course, in 92. Not 93. So there's, <laughs> we're alive. So there's the jersey. Uh, last but not least, this is uh yeah, this is this is why in the world of collecting, sometimes rivalries go out the window. You know, you notice I had the hat earlier. Here you go, Keith Hernandez. All right, all right I gotta keep this away from Phillies jerseys. They might try to fight each other. Uh oh, they're coming out of the bullpen now. All right, all right. so anyhow, <laughs> Festive, <laughs> Festive's ready to pounce. I'm gonna keep this away from Festive. <laughs> so anyhow, there's the there's the Keith Hernandez 1987. Road gray, love this jersey. So many aspects about this jersey I like. All right, maybe not so much the Mets, but the the, <laughs> the scripted font on the front, I really like that. I think the Seven Line made a hat like that with that scripted New York on the front. I have to see. I take a look at that hat. I might have to. I might have to combo wombo it up with this. The Captain C, and I wish. I wish baseball teams would do that again. Put a Captain C on the front for the captains. On their jerseys, like they do in hockey, obviously. Uh, it, it, you know, not every team did this back in the day. There was a collection of teams that did, and I have a few of them in the collection of the teams that had the captaincy. But um, they did it in the NBA for certain teams, too. We all remember the run TMC, right? Hardaway, Mullen, and uh, Mitch Richmond had the C, right, on the jerseys. You have other NBA jerseys with Cs over the years, right? Baseball did it for a time for some of their teams. I wish it would just be more of a uniform thing. Every team gets a captain, and they put the C on the jersey. I think it would be great. I mean, teams used to do it, as you can see. I think it's a, it's a little extra on the jersey. I think it would look great. I think it should happen. Get back to it, MLB. Let's go. <laughs> 
So there's the Hernandez and the racing stripes, you know, the blue and orange go hard on this jersey too. Keith Hernandez, 1987, New York Mets, road gray. And like I said, I got this hat. I thought it would go pretty good with it. I think it does, even though the errors don't match, but I might have to take a look at that seven line hat. But there, there you go. Again, the orange is a nice little compliment with the jersey, but you know, just one of those things. I would like to get a gray Mets hat to go with it. And the seven line, like I said, I, they, they produced the hat. Basically the jersey front hat. So I'm going to have to take a look at that. Although as a Phillies fan, I don't know if they're going to let me wear it. But uh, <laughs> we're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> just, I'll take a picture of the jersey. Hey, I just want it for this. Who's your team? Uh, it's, uh, it's a team that plays uh, uh, not in New York. <laughs> Anyhow, hey, go Phillies tonight, though. I want them to win that series. It was a tough loss last night, but they're on Sunday Night Baseball tonight at ESPN. We'll see what happens. Both teams won a game, so whoever wins this wins this series. It's a regular season series, but still, be nice if the Phillies can do something right. It's been a while. But anyhow, the, <laughs> the Phillies are going through one of those times where they win, lose, win, lose, win, lose, win, lose. So now, that, now, now it has to be a win, right, because they lost last night. So this is a win. That means they're going to win the series. Yeah, little, little victories. Anyhow, I'm going to move on because I've been going on for over 56 minutes. But I had a lot to say in this video. I had a lot to show, as you can see. And thank you again, all of you, so much for the 1K subs here on my YouTube channel. It, it is an absolute humbling thing for me. I thank you all so much for that. Keep subscribing to this channel. Like I said before, hit the bell icon so you're notified for upcoming content and of course hit smash the like buttons or pa or hit paw the like button whatever you have to do <laughs> to leave those likes feel free to leave comments below and hey mask up when you go outside everyone be safe out there get your shot if you haven't already done so if you're in a, if, if you're in a situation where you can get it make sure you get that vaccine i got my first shot last week i got through it right i'll get my second shot in a few weeks and i'll be all done with that so be safe out there, everyone. Thanks for watching. And until the next one, this is Mighty Fan and Festive again here saying <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. All right, everyone. Take care. Bye.